Welcome to Yumi and Montessori. You are now on the channel of a Montessori broadcaster. We greet all our viewers with love, respect and peace. Thank you in advance for liking and subscribing. In our previous video we shown a light on the immediate consequences of the frontal attack on Montessorianism, and we showed how and when the movement started to recover. That video is called, The Interregnum Years. Now, we will look at how the Montessori movement got its second wind in the US, and how it went from strength to strength. Our topic is, From Phoenix to Soaring Eagle. Grab your coffee, tea, or whatever is your fancy. Because now it is going to get interesting. The turning point came in 1958, when out of Rambusk's efforts, Whitby School was opened in Greenwich, Connecticut. She launched a teacher training program, and founded the American Montessori Society. Nuns and late teachers by the hundreds started to study Montessori on their own. Many opened private Montessori schools as well as Catholic ones. Two Catholic schools opened in Cincinnati, namely, Summit Country Day, 1962, and Mercy Montessori, 1969. Cincinnati Country Day also began in 1962, with Hilda Rothschild as lead teacher. Rothschild was a prominent participant in the Montessori movement. In 1965, she was instrumental in getting Xavier University to start the country's first university-affiliated Montessori teacher training program. The name of Xavier has ever since been synonymous with the U.S. chapter of the Montessori movement. From 1958, we can speak of the second Montessori wave of the Montessori movement in the U.S. We quote famous Montessori writer, Gudik again. In the second wave of Montessori education in the United States, the demand for Montessori schools exceeded the supply of trained Montessori directresses. As a result, schools and teacher preparation programs proliferated without any one set of accreditation standards. While some schools held closely to Montessori's original method, others were more flexible about making adaptations. The two organizations that provide recognition to Montessori schools are the Association Montessori Internacional, AMI, and the American Montessori Society, AMS. Close quote. In the 1960s, the Montessori method was boosted by President Lyndon Johnson's Great Society initiative in the war against poverty. Some legislation was directed toward providing compensatory education programs for poverty-affected children. These were called Operation Head Start programs, many of which adopted the Montessori approach. Gudit gives the figure of approximately 6,000 Montessori schools operating in the United States as of 2003. Let Gudik introduce the topic of our next video. And I quote, There has been a recent but still limited movement of the Montessori method into the public school sector, with some 500 Montessori magnet schools, or divisions, operating. The recent trend to charter schools has aided interested groups of parents and teachers to establish Montessori schools in public school districts. And so dear friends, we have come to the end of the sixth video in our series on the history of the Montessori movement in the USA. If you enjoyed it, please support our channel by subscribing and hitting the like button. Your opinions are important to us. So, let us know what you think of this video by passing us a comment if you wish. Look out for our next video in this popular series. And, thank you very much.